Hey Cancer, thank you so much for coming to your monthly reading. It should resonate Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Those of you that are cross-watching, welcome. It can be your situation or your partner's. It kind of just depends, so keep that in mind when you're watching this reading. All right, so first things first is you guys actually received the Bobcat Spirit. So first thing I want to notice is the number is number eight, and number eight is actually ruled by... Um, Mars. So some of you may be dealing with a Scorpio or possibly an Aries or somebody that has that in their chart. Um, but this is really about, it's interesting because the card is life is a mystery, right? And I feel like when we see this, this is a really good reminder for all of us that not everything is as it seems and not everything we can explain logically, right? Like, how many of you guys know somebody and they're so, so, so smart, but then dot, 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 when it comes to anything spiritually or it comes to something that's not logical that you can't exactly put a finger on, it's like that person is just, it's a no bueno. They just don't get it. So your message this week or this month, I feel like, is really allowing there to be a level of mystery and not trying to find the logic provide, um, behind it, but really just, I feel like going with the flow, going within and really trusting that wherever you're supposed to go, whatever you're supposed to do, the universe is going to guide you to that. Okay. I also wanted to say too, though, that there, um, for some of you guys, now is not a time to express yourself, to express your deepest and darkest secrets. Now's the time for you to be quiet and really pay attention to the people around you. Also, too, I want to say this. Do not listen to your to people's negative opinions. OK, I'm, I'm going to throw that out there because sometimes not everybody has one good energy and two, um, they don't always have your best at heart, right? Your highest good at heart. So just keep that in mind, please, Cancer, and just understand that now is the time for you kind of to sit back and just allow things to unfold. Don't logically try to process it and just be very quiet. Do not expose your inner truths right now. Yay. So let's hop into your reading. I'm really excited to do Cancer's reading. All right. What's the overall energy for love and romance for Cancer? What's the overall energy for love and romance for Cancer? Wow. Okay. You have the four of wands. Ooh, hold on. Get back in there. Come on, little guy. Aries, somebody that may have a Venus in Aries. There's also Libra. Moon in Libra keeps popping up as well. Sorry, I'm pushing my chair in. What's Cancer's person of interest? What's their energy in their relationship, in their romantic relationship? Okay, the Fool. Some of you may be dealing with a Pisces or an Aquarius. And what is Cancer's overall energy romantically in the, in the relationship? What's their energy romantically? Cancer's over here like, I am watching you. You are going to tell me the truth. I'm watching you like a hawk. I love it. All right, what is the current situation between Cancer and this person romantically? What's the current situation between these two? For some of you guys, there's something shocking. You may have had a falling out or getting back together. Uh, for some of you guys, there may be an issue um, with a mother, mother of a child. Um, possible um, somebody may have been blocked earlier. But let me ask because the cards didn't fly out the way I wanted them to. What's the current situation between Cancer and their person of interest romantically? Okay. Nine of Swords. All right, let's get your outcome card and we can kick into it. Yeah, because I don't see... Oh, there they are. Okay, what's the best potential outcome here for Cancer? What's the best potential outcome here for Cancer? Wow, look at this. Engagement. See, here's what's funny is I do feel a heavy energy where both you and your partner know exactly what you want, okay? Like, I, like I'm getting that overwhelmingly. I know that the Nine of uh, Swords is here. That's definitely Gemini energy. You have Aquarius and Leo here as well. However, um, I, I just, I feel like this is both people really in their head trying to figure out if this is a situation that they both want to be in, 
You know what I mean? Or exactly where this goes from here. Okay. What's the overall energy romantically for cancer? Overall energy for cancer romantically. What's the overall energy for cancer romantically spirit? Woo. Okay. We have the runner. And what is, <laughs> look at your person. It looks like your person's the one that's running. Um, what is uh, this person's energy in the relationship? Their person of interest romantically. Okay. I like you. And what is Cancer's energy in their relationship romantically? What's Cancer's energy? Okay. Stabbed in the back reversed. And what is the current situation between these two romantically? Okay. Grim Reaper. Something must have ended. We'll figure it out. All right. All righty then. So... Overall energy, we have the four of wands here. So this is definitely um, a time where I feel like you feel good. I think now is a time of celebration. I feel like there's some type of reunion here. There's something quick that's starting. Um, I feel like whoever was the one that ran away, I feel like that person is coming back in. And that person is coming in stronger than ever. Why is this here for Cancer's overall energy? Okay, with the nine of pentacles. There's a lot of passion right now. Here's Virgo energy, Venus and Virgo. I feel like things are changing. I feel like communication between you and this person is changing. And I feel like it's interesting when you and this person are really good. For some reason, I feel like there's more cash flow that comes in. I don't know why I'm getting that. I also feel like too, though, there's a level of abundance this month. And I feel like financially being rewarded, I feel like physically being rewarded. And then also too, your passions are very high right now. And I really, really like this energy. For a lot of you, you may be single and just focused on your money. That definitely can, can be something. Some of you may be waiting for something or also too, trying to make some type of decision on exactly what route they should go. Okay. Mars and Aries. Or... It's funny because we're coming out of the Mars retrograde. And the two of wands for me is, is, you know, it's funny. That's one of the cards I have a really hard time resonating with because I just don't understand it as, as well. I'm going to be honest. But when I look at this card, this is somebody that has a plan. This is somebody that knows what they want, right? They're in the right area. They have the right tools to succeed. And they're just getting ready to dive in. So... I feel like cancer, you know what you want. You've thought about it. You've taken the time. You've processed it. You've reviewed details over and over and over again. And as logically, or let me, let me go back. As much as you try to understand this connection, you can't make logical sense of it. There's too much passion here between the two of you where... It, it, it's a very intense connection. That's something that I'm picking up right now. I also feel like too, whoever the runner was, that person is now leaving that um, aside. And I feel like that, that fear of intimacy, I feel like that's different now. I feel like something has changed and somebody's definitely more confident here in their relationship or their situation. Your person is the fool. So I feel like for your person, um, they may be somebody that just likes to go with the flow, right? They're somebody that that doesn't like to have titles. This is somebody that, you know, kind of flies by the seat of, seat of their pants. This is somebody that usually doesn't have things that are scheduled out, I would say. And I also feel like, too, this person has been very, very slow moving with this relationship. Okay, there is Gemini as well as Virgo. And I think that for them, there's a lot of fun in this. But then when things start to get serious, that's when they want to pull back, right? That's when they want to pull this Knight of Pentacles type of energy. Um, let's see, what do you want me to know about the Fool and the Knight of Pentacles for Cancer? What do you want me to tell Cancer about this person and how they feel? About their situation romantically. Three of Pentacles. Okay, there's Capricorn, Mars and Capricorn. 
I think you and this person have been through a lot. And I think that the one thing that you're realizing or recognizing with them is the fact that every time somebody walks away, it's like the cycle continues. You come right back. And I feel like there's a huge transformation happening between the two of you. And I feel like somebody's getting ready to let go of all of the reasons why they could not make this relationship work and really accept it. That's what I'm gathering. I also feel like too, though, with that damn Knight of Pentacles, I'm gonna be honest, I hate that card. That's like my least favorite card. Um, I feel like this person has tried to put up a good fight with why, you know, they want to take things slow. But now it's like, instead of being stuck here with the Knight of Pentacles, you have the Three of Pentacles. So you guys are now working in unison. There's a level of teamwork here. There's a level of unity. And I don't know. I really, really like it. It's like you guys are working to get out of this weird wonky routine, right? Because the Knight of Pentacles to me is all about routine. And this person likes you. They want to be with you. They feel like things with you and them are heating up, okay? And how does Cancer feel? Um, what's their overall energy in their relationship? What's Cancer's energy in this relationship? Okay, King of Swords king of or queen of wands so there's aries or cancer why is the king of swords here ten of pentacles and why is the queen of wands here for cancer okay got it okay Hold on, let me ask one more question and then I'll tell you what I see. I just want to be 100% understanding really quick. How does Cancer feel about this? Okay. I feel like Cancer, there was something that you may have had a misunderstanding on, okay? I feel like recently Lee, you've learned the truth about something Okay, here with this King of Swords energy. And I feel like because we have stabbed in the back reverse, I feel like you're coming out of feeling like heartbreak and pain and, and deception. Like, I feel like you don't feel that anymore. Especially with death, there's Scorpio's ass. Death in the Five of Wands, there's Leo. You know, it's almost like an ending to the fighting or the ending to multiple people in your relationship, the ending to any type of issues or fights or arguments it's like that's no longer valid that's what i'm getting and i feel like it's because somebody came to you and told you the truth and i think for you you had to take a step back emotionally and really try to understand what this person was was thinking about from a very logical perspective a lot of times men are very logical right that masculine energy let's take men out it's it, it's a very logical type of energy so if somebody's operating out of logic in cancer, you're operating off your emotions, it's always going to seem worse than what it is. Because for you, you want that same emotional attachment. You want that same emotional response from this person. And I just feel like you just didn't get it. And it's because this person is highly logical. You have these swords for a reason. But here's the thing. You're also coming in as this queen of wands. So very fiery okay because if this is you cancer it's like you're ready to dominate i think you're ready to go take what you want which is this ten of pentacles okay mercury and virgo you're you're ready to go okay i feel like you're looking good you're feeling good you are very confident right now you know what your place is and i think for you you already know that now that this competition is over, whether it's a third party, whether it's emotions, whether it's that person fighting themselves, whatever it may be, now that you know that that competition is squished, it's like time to go get your ton of pentacles. And for you, you're ready for a commitment. That's the other thing. You want a commitment. You've actively expressed that, Cancer. And I feel like for this person, up until this point, they've always put a halt on it. And now, all of a sudden, with their energy coming in as this fool, it's like they're willing to work on it. But they still want to go day by day. They, they, they don't want to rush into something, okay? 
And I also feel like too, it's you working on yourself, Cancer. It's you working on healing. It's you working on your own self-respect. It's understanding your worth. It's understanding what you give somebody. It's like, I feel like you're doing all that at the same time, you're preparing to get ready to meet this person or be with this person. Okay, so Grim Reaper. So here's what I'm talking about. Grim Reaper with the Nine of Swords. This Nine of Swords, that's Mars in Gemini. And it's like an ending to just thinking, right? It's an ending to not saying anything. The Nine of Swords to me, that's anxiety. That's having a hell of a lot of, of anxiety because you've isolated yourself or somebody's isolated themselves because somebody thought that they were playing games, you see? And now there's this anxiety because you don't know how to move. And all you've done up until this point is sit here and spin out over it, right? It's go back and forth over and over and over again with the situation that's at hand, with what's happened, all these things, right? That's over now. Now that, remember, what the hell was your advice? Hold on, hold my beer, Cancer. Hold up, wait a minute, let me go to my stack of cards. Remember, you have the Bobcat spirit, okay? The Nine of Swords to me, that's anxiety, right? That's worrying about the future. That's trying to really understand exactly why this is happening, why you're drawn to them, all that, right? That That's an end to it. I feel like it's no longer just thinking and I feel like there's a level of action that's backing it. Why is this Nine of Swords here with the Grim Reaper? Look, the sun. Okay, that's beautiful. There's Cancer because you know why? Because... In order for you guys to be happy, you have to get out of your head and you have to be willing to actually come in and accept a cup of love or give a cup of love. Because the reality is right now, Cancer, things are ending and I feel like you and this person are running into one another. I feel like it did take a step back from you though. Because I just think that for you, I think that you felt like this person was like breadcrumbing you or playing games. And it's just like, I'm not playing games with you. I know what I want. And if that person didn't know what they wanted, like you walked away. But then this entire time that you're not with them, you're still upset, right? You're still sad. You're still missing them. It's kind of interesting. All right. Your outcome is engagement. Thank you so much, Cancer. I appreciate you guys. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.